<laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and this is a whiskey. And this we is are from Revis. This is cowboy American little barrel blended something or other. Renita Revis, you magnificent bastard. This is Cowboy Little Barrel American Blended Whiskey. Man, I will tell you, the journey to figure out what the hell this was was not easy. Well, just said Cowboy American Yeah, Barrel no, I mean, like, did. where did it come from? Who is it? America. Right. Cowboys. So, Cowboys the in America. website for the company that's based in California. California Cowboys. For this whiskey. In America. It's just a, like a two-page website. Blended. That tells this fanciful story about a cowboy. And that's it. That's the only information on the whole whiskey. Turns out it's from that Frank, I think, it's from that Frank Lynn company in Cal Fairfield, California, okay. that does all these like 30 different independent bottled brands oh, sure. yeah. for people, for clients. I, I remember it was like a cup, two or three weeks ago we did Yeah, something. we've done like four now of okay. theirs. Sure. And they're sourcing, should, they're always sourcing. Should we compare? Or? Well, no, I don't want to compare those because they're getting them from all these different places. Oh, different places. Yeah. Ah. They're just sourcing for a client. So a client comes in and says, we want a bourbon. They say, we'll get you one. Okay. And we'll brand it however you want. Well, and they'll like do the bottle with the side Yeah, bit. so the company is Cowboy Whiskey, Cowboy Little Barrel Whiskey. Okay. But the, the company's website has almost zero information of any kind whatsoever, just a picture of the bottle. Have you read the tasting notes they have on the front? Yeah. Okay, let's see how close we can get. Because I have read them. Now, I think I know where this is coming from now. Okay, so this is a... Uh, you know what this is? This is like it. I'm getting like a, an oaky Irish Canadian vibe. I'm getting a blended vibe too. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm getting that grain brightness, and I'm getting some a little bit of that coconutty, sweet, sweet mustiness from Irish. Yeah, that you get in some Irish. I can explain why. I, get, I think. And then there's the Canadian caramel in there too. Yeah, it's very much heavy molassesy caramel yeah. mixed with bright, shiny, brittle sugar. It, it uh, doesn't smell too hot. What's the proof? Do we know? It's, oh, there it is. 40.6. So, mm -hmm. practically the floor oh, on the proof yeah. there. It tastes like water Yeah. and uh, woody Canadian whiskey mm. with a weird cinnamon hot note. Yeah. It's proof. I don't get weird cinnamon hot. I get uh, like a thin Canadian, a little bit yeah. of wood in there. Really watered down Canadian whiskey. But that's more woody than a typical Canadian whiskey. I wonder where that 0. .6 came from. It's an interesting number. 40.6% alcohol? And it could have just mean they were proofing down, stopped when it was close enough, and didn't want to overdo it, and went ahead and bottled it accurately. Uh, so here's the thing about this whiskey. As far as I can figure, because this is my clue, it says, in honor of master distiller, Waddy Boone. Well, I know about Waddy Boone. Waddy Boone is historically referenced as one of the first distillers in Kentucky's history. Okay. 1776. Waddy Boone. Uh, and there is a distillery called Preservation right. that has built a dis whole distillery around Waddy Boone and family lineage of Waddy Boone. And they're in Bardstown, Kentucky, right. which is also where other distilleries are. <laughs> and uh, But Preservation, I'm assuming, had a photo of this whiskey on their Instagram. So I'm assuming Preservation Distillery provided the whiskey for this. Okay. The bourbon, anyway. However, this is not Kentucky bourbon. Okay. It's American blended, blended. whiskey. Yeah, no. And not even straight blended whiskey. I, I'm not so, saying, like, on the nose and on the taste. The definition legally of blended whiskey yeah. is you're about to be proven right. Are you uh, ready? Uh, is that going to make you listen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm all The definition ears. of blended whiskey is that it has to be at least 20% of a certain kind of, of straight whiskey. Mm -hmm. Right? So it could have been a straight bourbon, two-year-old bourbon. Okay. But the remaining 80%... Can be anything that is classified as whiskey or neutral grain spirit. Or neutral grain spirit. Yeah. Hold on, you could have something called. You can have vodka in here. You could have something called blended whiskey. And it's got vodka blended into it. 80%? Yeah. It could have 80% vodka? Yeah. 80% vodka. Or neutral grain spirit. Well, fine, but I'm saying yeah. specifically vodka. Yeah. It would just have 20% straight whiskey of some kind. Yeah. And that can be called a blended whiskey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what they mixed with the preservation. I'm assuming that's where the straight bourbon came from. Okay. We don't know what they mixed with the preservation bourbon, and this is a huge assumption. We could be wrong. So, but it could have been any other whiskey. Sure. It could have been younger than straight whiskey. Okay. Or it could have been neutral grain spirit, well, which would lend itself to the same style as Canadian budget blends. Right. Where they're running a high proof neutral spirit. Sure. And then blending it with a flavoring profile. So this is a little bit more interesting on the nose. 
on the taste, it's just eh, kind of a sweet thing, not really, yeah. not a lot, of, not depth there. I brought there's a bourbon not, to compare not, it to. There's not some richness, there's not flavors that get, that unfold after you get through it a little bit there. Uh, it's just like, yeah, whatever. I think, you know, I think this could be a good, a good whiskey for people that don't really like to drink whiskey. Yeah. Just I, such a light touch. I brought a bourbon to compare it to from Kentucky. Yeah. But now I'm thinking I should have brought a Canadian whiskey to compare it to. Okay. But I don't think we have any in here. So no, this is a bourbon comparison. This is not bourbon territory. No, I mean, it's really not. I mean it when I say you're it's kind of like, like a it. thin Irish sweet funky element with the caramel of the Canadian and then a little bit of an oak note in there. Uh watered down. Diluted down to about 40%. Yeah, it's okay. You know, this just kind of boring. I don't even know if I would classify it as okay. No, it's not offensive. Here's the thing. I've had whiskeys that are oh, just yeah, like... Oh, yeah, it's definitely not offensive. It's not offensive. It's just okay in terms of, like, it's not... It's nothing to write home about, but it's not horrific. It's just kind of a, a sweet little bland thing. Uh, Jordan Norris. Love the tribe, but it would be cool to get someone who likes bourbon involved with the bourbon reviews. Like bourbon? <laughs> Do we like bourbon? We like bourbon fine. Bourbon's lovely. I think hell? you just picked up on some uh, review that we did where it was a bourbon and we didn't like it. No. But, uh, I, I got an idea. How about we compare it to Seagram's American Blended Whiskey? Okay. Seagram's, Seagram's has an American Blended Whiskey? No, Seagram's whiskey. is American Blended Whiskey. Why did I think they were... Seagram's 7. Oh, so, uh, sure. Oh, yeah. I think that's the closest comparison. Yes, it totally is. So it tastes like Seagram's. Mmm. Damn, dude, you're not wrong. <laughs> so they say, on the cowboy. Son of a bitch, it's better. It Seagram's is better. No, Seagram's has more heft to the flavor. It's got more character to it. Yeah. Uh, the tasting notes on the cowboy. They say honey, tobacco notes. No. Splashes of caramel. Honey, maybe caramel and mm, mesh. Maybe, but I don't get the tobacco notes. No, and tobacco's they, too dense. And of then the they notes. say white pepper. Well, that's going to be the neutral grain if it's neutral grain, and then the peppery, spicy alcohol bite. Okay, we got Eric White. Maybe the barrel light. Blood uh, so, so whiskey. I'm switching it's... Seagrams. You took the Seagram? Yeah, so much better. <laughs> you want some Seagrams instead? Uh, blood whiskey is not Irish, Scottish, American, Canadian, or Japanese. It's Klingon. You patah. I'm guessing that's a Klingon word. Sure. Patah. Patah. Is that a Klingon word? Oh, I'm, did we get it right? It has to be. Any, like, yeah. any string of consonants is going to be some kind of Klingon word. You <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Somnia. Oh, I put this in there. It's from a video from ages ago. Okay. But I put this in there because I thought this comment was so fascinating. Somniator. Uh, fun facts about the trees in Iceland. While there are very few trees in Iceland, the country has a different source of wood. Due to some weird ocean currents, trees that fall off cliffs in Siberia get washed onto the shores of Iceland. This source has been used by early settlers for houses and Vikings for ships. And this tree fountain is still active. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, you don't have to cut them down. You just go to yeah, the it's beach. Like, go to the beach like, hey, it's a tree farm. <laughs> I like a tree fountain. I like that. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Seagram 7. It's significantly superior. But directionally, they are very, your cousins. They're, they're it's, absolutely it's just, the same family. It's like, hey, whatever flavors are going on in here, let's just crank up the volume a little bit. Yeah. And you have them in the, the Seagram 7. And that's something people can get their hands on. Yes, they can. And this is, the Seagram 7, you know, in and of itself isn't a game-changing whiskey. No. It's it's just comparing, uh, comparing. Yeah. Comparing, it's an apt comparison. Yes. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.